in, love in, in bed. Well, we're having like a love in in honor of John, John Lennon, Lennon and Yoko, Yoko Ono. Ono. Remember they stayed in bed for like, I don't know what it was, a day, two, a week, just doing like a, a making love and we'll work. A week, we are two months in <laughs> quarantine in bed for That's two months. Right. That's, they know? ain't got nothing on us. They but, got nothing on us. But in honor of them, we're having a love in with loving icing with in a can. Icing, yeah. And we're both kind of dreading it yeah. because, you know, it's not exactly like Parisian oh, desserts. But we, we couldn't have a chance to go to a fancy bakery and get a dessert, so we got those. <laughs> Yeah. So in honor of our friend Janet, who suggested it, yes, because she's full of fabulous ideas. Yes, she is. Janet Tiger. The Janet Tiger. <laughs> Janet Tiger. If we love it, we love you more. If we're yes. disgusted by it, we even love you more. So. Right. We love you no matter what, even if yes. it's disgusting. But and... well, we're gonna send you guys like a case of it if right. we hate it. <laughs> Okay, so this is creamy, dreamy chocolate. Right, and I was adventurous, so I went for coconut pecan. I don't know why. I don't but know, anyway. it's summer, it's Florida, I figured coconut pecan, if I'm making a coconut cake, I will put coconut pecan on the top He's of it. He's so exotic. Yeah. Are you looking forward to yours or mine more? I'm looking forward to try yours before I'm going to go for mine. Okay, well then, you try it. How is it? Oh, it's nice. Mmm, oh. I can already see in my mind what kind of cake I can put that on. Ooh. Mmm. Interesting. Very nice. Mmm. So this can go on chocolate cake, vanilla cake, any kind of cake you bake, this can go on it. What are you talking about cake? This can go on my toes. <laughs> Let's this go, go on. This can go on my nose. This can, can go, go on my toes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, now you're talking dirty. I mean, we can put it all over, you know? But um, it's not exactly ganache icing. No. Do you know what I mean? But it's still no. pretty darn good. But it's, it's also we are not sitting in a fancy restaurant. We are in bed. And we are cozy. We are cozy. And we two cans of icing. I know. How bad it could be. Exactly. It's really kind of like a fantasy come it's true. Romantic. On some levels, you know, staying home and eating the icing before you have the cake is kind of what we all secretly want to do. Well, I would say this is the icing on the cake. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and this is the cake right here. And, and if you want to keep the wifey. Happy, give her a bite. Oh, yeah, yeah, So what yeah, is this again, honey? So this is coconut pecan. Okay. Let me try this. Let me give you a bite. Kind of disgusting. Mm. Oh, my God. It's really salty. Those this is not that are moist and mushy. Yeah, definitely not crunchy. <laughs> I felt like I was chewing like insects. <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's say you are in Vietnam or Thailand, yeah, and they come to you and say the bags with the chocolate <laughs> or that. Which one would you pick? I mean, who knows? The insects might taste better. I would go for the insects. <laughs> Seriously, because I bet you they're putting a better chocolate than this on the bags. So you, you know chocolate. what? Danny has a good But guess what, honey? I'm not going to be testing chocolate-covered insects next. But if you're thinking about that, and you, mm. you you come to it with the approach of, it's not bugs, it's just something crunchy inside. It's like crunchy bacon. Yes. With chocolate on it. Oh, this why is... don't we do that with toenails, honey? <laughs> mm, I'm going to have somebody who I have no ideas chocolate-covered toenails. What a weird thing to say. The year 49 BC, Julius Caesar had just defeated the forces of Pompey the Great in Spain at the Battle of Illyrda. The Romans celebrated Caesar's victory with a huge feast that went on for hours and hours. During the banquet, people went to a special place called the Vomitorium to make room for more food. Got mints? Four out of five Roman gods recommend fresh breath after every meal. So remember, cats, the next time you're in Rome, 
Regurgitate with the heads of state at the vomitorium. <laughs> Feed me some chocolate. Yeah, I know. We're going to kill the day. <laughs> oh, let's go back to the scoring ball. Oh, we're going to score. All right, with Oreo cookies. With Oreo cookies. Oh. This one. You can't take it seriously. Okay. You waste even one Oreo cookie on that. So when I'm thinking about maybe a couple of crumbs. <laughs> so my scoring is quarter of a cookie. Okay, I can quarter take it. Quarter of a cookie. For quarter that. cookie. I haven't given any cookies. No. Zero. You have to give some. No, you it's don't. Not here. It's we not. are. Danny <laughs> is a cookie controller. <laughs> Even two crumbs come. No, won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Simon Cowell of cookie judging. Icing has zero talent. It gets zero for me. The Peace Boy Boy is crying. Look at him. He's crying. Son of a... Come on! Let's read the next one, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> How many Oreo cookies? Is it? it involves a certain amount of thought. I would give it one and a half Oreo cookies. How about you? I think I will I will go the same route. I will give it about two Oreo cookies. We're oh. having porn, but oh. we're having dessert porn. Well, you never know what's going to happen after. I mean, <laughs> That's you might true. Use it for another uh, use, you know. Oh, well, mm -hmm. let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>